Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, and you know what that means. Time for free Unreal Engine stuff. So, yeah, uh, first Tuesday of the month, Epic Games gives away a number of assets for Unreal Engine, and August is no exception. You're getting a total of five free-for-the-month assets. This here is one of them. This is the Immersive Template. Uh, it doesn't showcase too much until you actually go ahead and run it, so let's go check that out. I'm going to look at all five in this particular video. This one is all about adding interactivity to your game, so we could do things like sit and then not sit, and then sit again, <laughs> and then not sit. Okay, there's a little bit more to it than that. So for example, over here, we have a mug. I can interact with the mug, and then I can hit the one key, and we will drink. And then I can be a bit of a slob, move over here, and we'll just put it down on the ground. Over here, you have a key card. I can interact with the key card. So I now have a key card active, and I can go to this button, and it will open. I can drop the key card down, and I go to this button, and it will not open. So I'm gonna pick the key card back up, and head on over here. If you're wondering, this is all implemented with blueprints. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'll drop my key card because I have single uh, item inventory right here. And then I got a torch. Now you can see I've got a light of the torch. We'll light the torch up. We will put it into this slot over here. Uh, that does something. I don't actually know what other than makes a dong noise. We'll pick our key card back up and now this button will open again. And yeah, that's kind of the idea behind it. We also have um, some interactive boxes as well so picking them up dropping them and so on and now that we are done let's go to the edge we will drop our key card and off into space it goes and hell let's follow it all right so that is the first item that is the um immersive template again this one starts as a create a project style project so if you want to check it out you need to um well create the project i don't know why it's white right now so let's move on to the next item this one here is venice now the entire idea behind this is it's um a quick build of like a venetian town uh, we have, you know, canals over here. There are gondolas for working in the canals. The big thing about this one is it's got procedural driven buildings. So if you want to go ahead and create your own, you can do so. So over here, we do have a gondola right here. The natural lighting on this one is very dark, I might add. But uh, yeah, so there is everything you need to create this. But there are a couple of, um, again, blueprint driven uh, buildings here. So for example, I could go over uh, to the content drawer, grab one of these buildings. So you got buildings, blueprints for creating uh, bridges, bricks, first floors of a building, and so on. These, again, are all procedural driven. I can drop a building into the world, like this guy right here. And then you're going to notice here, let's change the seed out to 90210, and you're going to get a different building. So if you need to rapidly create a Venetian-type world, you're getting all of these procedural uh, blueprint-driven buildings available here. And, of course, all of the meshes and such that underlie them. And boom, GPU crash. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, that's what you get for demonstrating live, isn't it? Well, anyways, we're rebooted. Now we are here in the, uh, this is the ultimate ship package. Uh, contains 110 plus assets, which is an interesting choice of words because it comes with 179 meshes and 564 textures and 234 materials, which I guess are all more than 110. But again, a strange choice of words. So you got a number of different assets available here from chairs and guns and coins and ropes and chests and uh, I think that's a spyglass, uh, pirate flags, and cannons, cannonballs. Uh, we've got various different food and site items and sundries available here. More chests, a desk, although I do think his maps will get kind of wet in this particular area. Uh, pretty straightforward. By the way, there is another demo map here that is kind of just the same thing at night. So you can see here these things like the, the lights have been set up and configured. You got some uh, animation going on with the ropes in the scene. Uh, etc. So if you need a pirate ship, that's basically what you are getting with this asset. Um, yeah, that one's about as straightforward as it gets. Uh, next up, okay, I lied. This is probably as straightforward as it gets. This is corals. Uh, it's basically um, something like 79 coral. Yeah, 79 units of coral here. Uh, so if you're doing a coral reef, well, they got you, fam, because there's a lot of corals going on here. Again, pretty straightforward. Um, let's go look at the overview here, but you can see it kind of what it would look like in action. Uh, I guess it's a, a bounceitude of colors here, but you've got a variety of coral over here and over here, and then some rocks to stick your coral to. Uh, yeah, so I guess this is a more straightforward package than the other one because it literally is a collection of corals. Uh, so yeah. And then for our fifth and final package, we have probably the most visually impressive of the items here. Let me just turn the game objects off. And this is the museum. And it is, as you can guess, 
It's a museum, and I am floating precariously in space right now. Okay, so let's go just take a quick look around here. You got a number of uh, portraits on the wall, like so. And then we have, yeah, so this is a wall of portraits. Now I'm just going to take a shortcut and phase through the floor here. Uh, down here, again, more portraits going on. And it's very dark in this museum. Over here, and then you see here we've got... Um, statue and then the staircase we just came down so pretty straightforward and i don't know if there's an exterior on this one i don't think there is no not really so it is a museum environment i think i actually missed a floor so no that's where we started okay so that's kind of the entirety of it and if i go down into the basement not much here i'm surprised it is a little chuggy but again uh my gpu did just crash earlier on so it may be uh a lingering issue on my end. Uh, yeah, so that is it. That is the extent of this month's free assets. I'm um, curious what you think of them overall. So again, a quick recap. Starting things off, we had the immersive template. Again, this one was a create a project style. Uh, if, to get these things, once again, just go and add them all to your cart and check out before the first Tuesday of next month, and they're yours to keep free forever. Uh, this one, again, is entirely blueprint driven for doing a number of different interactions with it in your game world. Uh, then we've got, after this one, we have the ultimate ship package, which is, again, interestingly, 110 plus assets, which is a weird number because it's got 179 meshes, 564 textures, and 234 materials, which adds up to more like, I don't know, 900 assets. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking to create a pirate ship type setting, uh, this is there for you. I don't know why they want such a film grain on all their shots, but oh well. Uh, then we got the, the Venice fast buildings. Again, a number of blueprint controllers for creating uh, buildings procedurally. So you got the different ones, like the first floor, the wall, etc. So you can get different results from them. Um, and yeah, you just sort of procedurally, randomly build your generations in the levels. Now, the interesting thing here is when I actually set things up for it and I try to like modify the floor height or whatever, it didn't work for me. So there might be something special to it. I'm not entirely certain, but if you're looking to create a Venetian, Venetian style uh, canal area, it could be a good pickup for you. Some of the the details are a little low texture here, so it's going to get hard to mix this in with a lot of art styles, in my opinion. Uh, and then we had the museum environment kit. Uh, Oddly enough, this one is much brighter in their demo, so it might be a, an Unreal Engine. I'm actually specifically using uh, 5... Oh, I'm using 5.2. Okay, that would make sense. Yeah, so it should have been much brighter than what it showcased here. Uh, but again, straightforward museum and setting, uh, and this one has got... Uh, 80 different meshes in it, all between 10 and 50,000 vertices on those meshes. And then we had the Corrals pack. Uh, and that was kind of the extent of it. By the way, if you are an Unreal Engine user, a couple of other things you probably want to be aware of if you're not already. There is a humble bundle of environments for Unreal Engine users. I did a video on this one. This one is going to end uh, very, very soon. So you got uh, two days left on this guy. So if you're interested in checking that one out, I will throw the links down below as well. So that's got a couple of days left in it. Uh, and then, of course, we have the crop out sample was just released uh, on the weekend as well. I did a video about this one as well. Uh, this is an Unreal Engine learning project for creating uh, casual RTS style games entirely using blueprints. It also demonstrates a bunch of the Unreal Engine 5.2 newer features. So if you want to learn more about using Unreal Engine 5.2 features or you want to learn more casual cross-platform game development using Unreal Engine, this one is definitely worth checking out. So I will link this down below as well. But again, the star of the show, this month's free contents. I'm curious what you think of them. Like always, are you a hoarder? Are you adding these to your cart? Are you actually using them? If you do want to grab them, by the way, they are all available Epic Game Launcher or the Epic Marketplace. Go to free free for the month, and they will all be there. Uh, this will update tomorrow. By the way, there's also a huge collection of permanently free items. Uh, they used to update these quite often. They haven't been doing that lately, but I do think that maybe you should stay tuned later today. There might be some more Unreal Engine announcements. We'll see what happens there. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This month's free stuff. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.